Okay, now we're at the Wii. Um, I'm going to get you to go to the SD card menu. There's nothing in there. So, what I'm going to get you to do is to take your SD card, put it into the Wii. You're going to get this message. It says this. Click yes. You're going to get another message. Hit one to continue. One in. What it says. Just gonna load up some stuff here. There, hit one to continue. And you're gonna hit A to continue. You're gonna go up, install the homebrew channel. Hit yes to continue. Success. Hit A. Go down and install boot me. And you're gonna want to install boot me as iOS. Hit yes to continue. Yes to continue. Okay. It says success. Now you're gonna to want to return to the main menu. Install DVDX. Hit A. Go yes to continue. Hit A. Success. Hit A and then you're going to want to exit now when it exits you will be in the homebrew channel okay when this comes up you're just going to want to turn off your Wii take out the SD card and put it back into your PC hey we're back again onto the PC we just came back from the Wii you're going to want to open up your Wii files which all those folders should be extracted into from board and you'll want to have open your SD card. Now what I'm going to get you to do next is take your boot me from the SD card and drag it oh sorry yeah drag it right into new into your Wii files. I don't know if that worked or not. Boot me. 239. Okay. So when when you drag your boot me into your new folder, you're gonna want to delete the boot me folder from your SD card okay now next yes yes to delete goodbye you're gonna wanna go to your Wii files <coughs> and where it says cboot to download you're gonna wanna open that up And there's these two things in here. You're going to highlight them and you're going to drag them into the root of your SD card. Sorry, my computer's being a piece of shit. Okay, so, yes. There we go. So after you do that, you're going to rename boot.elf. You're going to rename it to boot hack me. Oops, sorry, I have cap locks on. You're going to rename it to boot hack me dot elf. 
and then you're going to want to rename one you're going to want to rename your boot manager to boot dot dot boot dot dot that's on we're going to go over to the Wii again so I'll see you there okay hi we're back on the Wii I'm going to get you to insert your SD card turn on the Wii and then we're going to go to the homebrew channel when you're in the homebrew channel if you get anything that says update you're going to want to click no for this tutorial after the tutorial I highly recommend that you update I'll show you what you mean it should pop up any second now right there so don't click yes you're going to want to click no once this tutorial is done you're more than welcome to update it <clears throat> okay so when you're in here you're going to want to hit the click the, the home button on your controller which is right there and you're going to want to launch boot me your screen will get all screwed up and stuff it's totally normal it's going to bring you to the techno gonzales dot es Malfo, you just want to hit A, and then you're going to want to hit A, once it says SD slot, and then you're going to want to hit, hit A, and you're going to want to install this one, I believe, I don't think you're going to want to uninstall it, uninstall WAD, okay, and that's done, when that is done, you're going to want to hit the home button <clears throat> you're going to go back to the homebrew channel you're going to want to go to drop iOS load when this loads up you're going to hit the right button until you find iOS 53 you want to hit A, you want to hit A, you want to hit A now this is going to load up, it's going to take about a minute When, uh, when you're all done, you're going to want to have an external hard drive formatted to, uh, to a certain type of format. Um, I, can, I can show you programs and stuff maybe in another update on how to do that. Um, an external hard drive looks like this, right there. There's one inside of every single computer, it's just internal. You can rip it out and turn it into an external, as long as you have a casing for it to be an external hard drive unless you have like SATAs and stuff like that you can figure it all out I think mine's taking a little bit longer of a time because I got other stuff going on with other computers in the house At the end, it's going to say that there's an error. It's totally normal. Okay, I might have just skipped all that just because it took a couple minutes or whatever. But you're gonna again once it's all loaded, you're gonna want to hit A twice, and then you want to hit the home button. Then you're gonna want to go back to DOP iOS. 
load it up. And you're, this time you want to go right all the way to 55. That's what we want. Hit A, hit A, hit A. And it's going to load up. And I will be right back as soon as it all loads. Okay, when that's all done, you're going to want to hit A twice again. You're going to want to hit the home button. It's going to take you back to the homebrew channel. You're going to want to go back to DOP iOS. Oops. You're going to want to go to back to DOP iOS one more time. You're going to want to go over to iOS 70. This is the last one right there. You want to hit A, you want to hit A, you want to hit A. It's going to load up. When it's done, I'll be right back. Okay, so when that's all done, you're going to want to hit A twice again. You're going to want to hit the home button. It'll take you back to the homebrew channel. From there, you can power down your Wii, take your SD card, and put it back in your PC, and I'll see you in a bit. Hey, we're back on the PC again, and we're going to go to the SD card, because it should be inside your computer. We're going to go to where it says boot.dull. We're going to rename it. Rename. To boot underscore. Oops. Boot underscore wad manager dot do. Just like that. Okay. And we're going to rename this CISO CIOS thirty eight to boot. Dot do. Just like that. Okay. When that's done, I will see you at your Wii.